Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome all you lovely members and beautiful people. So, this is your weekly rundown of all things Ingham because I know that you look forward to this every Saturday and this week's no different. I was waiting patiently to do this video so... <laughs> I needed last night's vlog to be up and then I could do a full week's rundown but because these twats decided to leave it and leave it and leave it and not tell us anything and just eventually not upload it just put me back you know so these they don't realize just what they do to people you know when you need you actually need them to anyway getting off track what I want to say is that Sarah came on to Instagram eventually last night and she gave some sort of crap about crap. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? No. Yes, Esme. Uh, guys, I am very, very sorry for the lack of vlog. What actually is wrong with the vlog? Like what actually is a problem? There's a problem with a couple there's of the a, clips. There's a problem with a couple of the clips and I can't sort it because I don't have good enough internet. And we don't have good it. enough internet. There's just no really excuse, is there? Um, yeah, the vlog, so that's why the vlog's not live. I think it's unlikely that the vlog's going live tonight. It's actually, actually, like, saying six hours to download, re-edit, and then that's not even upload. That could change, obviously, when we, got, when we get out of here. Um, it was saying six hours before we came under the air. Cut me off. Um, yeah, we... Your attention, please. I've got to Listen give this. to the following safety information. I'll be back. Are strictly forbidden on board as they interfere with our fire detection systems. If you require any assistance, you can call a crew member using the call points situated on the side panels of the carriage. So Safety instructions are also displayed on the side panels. Quiz. It was a nonsensical story, but more so than that, it was Sarah was lying. Clearly she was lying. You could see her her expressions and her face and her arms were all over the place. She was pulling faces and she was she was not she was kind of distracting herself, which is a classic lying technique. She asked Chris what was the matter with the vlog, which was again another technique that you use if you you want to bide some time. Because you're not sure what you're talking about basically and what I don't get is why on earth Sarah couldn't come on earlier in the day because obviously she wasn't driving she could have just filmed a, a quick insta post and just told people that there would be no vlog because they clearly knew there was not going to be a vlog that night so instead of letting her fans wait and wait and people like me <laughs> wait all night just tell them that there's not going to be a vlog because you know we're traveling in the day and we're not going to have time sorry people will understand that this this is what gets me with these is that they don't give people enough credit they think that the best way would be just to keep people hanging on and and then eventually, to, you know, I don't know why they do it, right? But they pretend that that they're going to upload. They clearly not. They clearly didn't have any intention of doing so. But if they just told people the reason why they couldn't upload, and just say, "I'm sorry, we we haven't had time. We've had to get the van ready. We've had to pack, and we've had to travel t today. So we haven't had time to edit the vlog." then people would understand why don't they think that people wouldn't understand that i don't really know but 
in my mind what they should have done or what they should do now is they should actually be uploading a double tonight because according to them they've got a vlog edited and ready to go apart from a, a few things to fix and it so all, all they have to do is upload it and it should be ready for ready to go with the next day's vlog so a double upload would be nice in the past they would have done that they would have catered to their fans they would have been so upset that they had let their fans down and they would have done a double the next day unfortunately they know that a they don't have fans left b nobody wants to watch a double of them <laughs> and c they're lying anyway they what they really want to do is get an extra day ahead because they're traveling and they don't want people to know where they're going in advance so that's the the, the reason it's all a load of shit and they should stop <laughs> they really should nobody's like they, they're traveling around europe right it's gonna take some hell of like insanity to be able to track them down and report to like um, a Norwegian speaking like ski control person to, <laughs> to um to actually explain to them why Chris and Sarah shouldn't be skiing at their resort or whatever it is that they're doing you know so I think they're kind of getting ahead of themselves a little bit. Maybe it's because they know that people are going to report them to the borders and things like that. But again, it comes back to if you didn't have anything to hide, then, <laughs> or if you were doing everything right, then you wouldn't need to 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 worry. You you wouldn't need to worry about it. So, anyway, that's what was happening yesterday, and. I'll look forward to my double upload tonight. Hmm. But the, the rest of the week was um, just pure shit, as usual. Uh, they did... <laughs> Sarah showed off what their, what their house really looks like. And it's not good, to be honest. It is an absolute dump. It's a tip. They showed off Mila's bedroom which is to be honest a, an absolute disgrace it's an embarrassment and it well it shouldn't come as a surprise because it's exactly the same as how they kept jace's bedroom until he got to stay in there for the for the first year of his life the bedroom was um was a tip it was basically used as a dumping ground and they've done the same with me as don't know why they do that but there you go disgraceful in my opinion they also went to pick up a new bed for jace well it was a second hand bed only cost them a hundred quid or something off facebook apparently and they put that together they also put together me as new bed which somehow Chris managed to botch up completely because you know he's he is he I I get the impression that Chris likes to do everything without a manual and without the instructions so he just puts everything where he thinks it should go without actually knowing so yeah he put it on back to front why are we not surprised <laughs> Then Mila got sick and that put off Sarah's big plans to go and meet her new niece because she wanted to catch Mila's reaction to the meeting. <laughs> I, I don't know. She wanted to catch Mila's reaction uh, apparently and... Um, so that was good enough reason not to go and see the new niece because of course 
Katrina gave birth and Sarah got to um, do the name reveal. I mean, it, it'd all already been revealed, obviously, but to to her audience, she was revealing the name. She clickbaited it, said new baby in the family. It was a very big clickbaity vlog, which was kind of wrong because they were exploiting her sister's baby completely and yeah also filmed the baby just film <laughs> just it was ridiculous don't expect anything else from these but that's what happened And finally, they went off on the the big shopping spree to buy Sarah's snow gear. <laughs> she looks stupid. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. She they they bought Sarah's. Well, they they bought all the everybody snow stuff and um, including these weird boots with like a a rubber cap on it. For, for Chris a little bit weird but whatever yeah they spent a lot of money on those and um, Sarah's jacket or her coat alone cost like a hundred quid she says so they're clearly gearing up for something because usually I mean they've been in cold temperatures before usually they're fine they they always say we're fine it's not it's not that cold it's cold yeah but we're not we're okay we we'll go out in our flip-flops it's fine and they usually don't care about the kids like with the gloves and stuff like that but seem to be on the ball this time anyway that is what it is so the away to wherever it is scandinavia or something the rumors are so We'll keep tabs on that and come back next week and I'll tell you more. And thank you so much for joining me. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.